I made a coffee and eggs if you want. So. <clears throat> Sorry for uh, getting home so late last night. How was your day? It was fine. Just fine? Yeah, it was like normal. Although I had kind of a strange experience uh, in the library yesterday. No, oh, strange, how so? So, I was writing, you know, and um, all of a sudden this, this guy came up to me and he just started talking. What did he want? Well, he asked me about the book I was reading, Simone de Beauvoir's The Second Sex. Um, you know, and I told him about how I was just starting it out. And then he was like suggesting me these other feminist existential authors and telling me like how it's so important for men to understand feminism, which I was like listening to that. I was like, okay, you're probably just telling me this to sound woke or I don't know, like seem better about yourself. I don't know. Right, or get your number. Or... Okay, maybe. But then he asked me about what I was writing and... I don't know, he just had such a genuine, like, curious look in his eyes. Like, he wouldn't leave me alone unless he found out what I was writing. I don't know, we, we ended up talking for three hours. For three hours? Did you think to maybe mention me? Hmm, of course I did. But even after I told him I had a boyfriend, he still kept talking to me. Why are you telling me this? What do you mean? I thought you'd be glad that I'm being honest with you. Oh, you thought I'd be glad about what exactly? The fact that you wanted to fuck another guy? <laughs> Jeez. I, I mean, I'm sure this thing happens to you. It's normal to be attracted to other people. Oh, so you admit that you were into him. It happens to you too. Yeah, but I don't act on it because I'm with you. <sighs> I'm just saying maybe we can live our lives differently. Like, I don't know. Simone de Beauvoir and Jean-Paul Sartre were an open but committed relationship their entire lives. They were each other's main partner, their essential lover, but they still saw other people, and they were honest with each other about that. Yeah, and I bet they were also constantly jealous of each other. I think that all of this Simone de Beauvoir stuff is getting to your head. Okay, it's de Beauvoir, and I'm just saying, I don't know if we're wired for monogamy. Okay, listen. Open relationships are a stacked game, okay? The women always win. It's a lot easier for you to find someone to sleep with. Why are you talking about it like it's a competition? I am trying to mend our relationship, not tear it apart. Oh, oh, I get it now. So, sleeping with other people is the new couple's therapy. Brennan, I, I think it can actually work, okay? No, no, I do not want an open relationship. It's not- I'm not saying that. I, I don't even know if I would want that. I'm just saying I think it's an important conversation to have. It's- I mean, it's better than letting a relationship go stale or building up resentment. I don't know. I, I really don't know, but I don't think that seeing other people is the answer. I think that that means that you're clearly not that into the person you're with. I don't agree. I, I think that Letting someone be free is the ultimate expression of love. Oh, so this is about freedom now. Do you want to know what I think freedom is? I think that freedom is making a choice and being at peace with that choice. So when you commit to someone, you commit and you don't quit when things get difficult. I'm not talking about quitting. I'm just saying that love is complicated and unexpected. And I think denying that... You just think all this because your parents had a failed marriage and that's all you know. Okay, let's, let's stop this. I love you. Okay, and I am sorry. I... Where are you going? Ouch.